Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com. Today we are installing a brake caliper stiffening kit on the R32. So what we're doing with this kit is we're replacing these rubber bushing pieces with metal ones. If I were to take and slide this caliper slide in, you can see there's a pretty good amount of movement. So we'll remove the rubber ones and replace it with these, and that'll eliminate any play in this part of the caliper. What also happens over time with axle boots slinging grease everywhere is the rubber piece will get saturated in grease, it'll expand, it'll get even softer. In addition to coming with the sleeves, the kit comes with new guide pins, grease, and snap rings in order to install these on the car. Before you get started, there are two fitment issues that I ran into that I wanted to make sure that I shared with you guys. The first one is where the lower sleeve goes into the caliper, I needed to file it down just a little bit so that it fit properly. You can even see on the factory rubber piece how it comes up the side of the caliper just a little bit. And I simply used a round file and just took enough off so that the sleeve sits flush with the caliper. The other thing you wanna make note of is on mine, on the top sleeve, I found that it was just a little bit too long. Even with the snap ring on, the sleeve was a little bit loose. If you run into this issue, give the folks at Tyrol a call. They offer an oversized sleeve if the bore is too big, or what I ended up using was the sleeves from a Mark V. They did say that due to variations in manufacturing of these calipers, that a very low percentage might actually need one of these other pieces. But the guys at Tyrol were super cool about it and sent me out the new parts right away. The tools you're gonna need for this job are going to be a seven millimeter Allen, a ratchet, a torque wrench. We're also going to need to properly lift the vehicle, support it on jack stands, and remove the front wheels. In order to install the Tyrol brake stiffening kit, we need to remove the caliper. We'll start by popping the caps off. We'll remove the pins that hold the carrier on. These are seven millimeter Allens. We also have to remove our spring from the outside of the caliper. Now, I have the caliper off. I have it sitting on a fender cover on top of the rotor. Let's go ahead and remove the pad. We're gonna remove the rubber boot and we're gonna replace it with a metal one. Before we install our new one, we wanna check the bore here where it's gonna go. We wanna make sure it's clean. You can see there's a pretty good amount of dirt in there. I have a bore bit on the end of a drill. Clean that out really well. If you have any major contamination inside of there, a round file works really good to clean it up. You wanna make sure you do a thorough job and clean the bore as best you can. Next, we'll install our sleeve and of course our snap ring. Be sure that the snap ring is fully seated in the groove. Go ahead and flip our caliper over. Be careful of the brake line. We have a lot of flexibility in this metal line. Remove our pin. Remove our rubber sleeve. Clean our bore. Fit our new one on with our snap ring. Next we'll install our new pins. First we'll go ahead and use the grease that they supplied. Just grease up our slide really well. Insert our pin. Go ahead and snap our pad back in. Now we can remove our cover. We'll put our caliper back on. Recommend starting these by hand. Torque our slide bolts to 30 newton meters. Put our dust caps on. Put our spring back in. And we're done with this side and we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. I've had this kit on for about 1500 miles. Immediately after installing it, I did notice a slight improvement in pedal stiffness compared to before having the kit on. This will be a long-term test to see how the pads wear. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube or over on the blog at humblemechanic.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on Snapchat. If you wanna check out the rest of the R32 videos, I do have a dedicated playlist. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.